The mic is on. Welcome back to The Amazing Pace. While Living Light RV was sharing with you amazing views Talk. <laughs> you know you guys can count on an awkward beginning with Living right. Light RV. <laughs> We're guys, here though. Welcome to Tuesday's live stream. We're so glad you guys are here that we can hang out. What's going on now? Oh, no, keep talking. Oh, okay. We're good. That's good. Uh, anyway, so just wanted to welcome everybody here and... I, I just didn't preview that, that preview, that's all. Exactly. Can you switch it back to the other screen so I can see the text and the comments? Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let's see who's all here. I know Nick's Picks is here, Diary of a Family, Days Great Adventure, FNT. We've got John Chalker and Jim Deuce. It is a party tonight. Wow, we are doing good. Hey, there's a few people here from the Edmonton zone and some others. Uh, yeah, we're good. Yep, nursing our travel bug is here. Welcome, welcome. And I'm probably going to miss some people in the chat just because it goes pretty quickly. And like we said before, it's a lot of work to think about what I'm going to say, listen to what he's going to say, keep track of our notes and the tech stuff and hey, all of it. Uh, FNT, are you from Arizona? No, he's Canadian. FNT? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're Canadians. All right. Yeah, that's why he's got like love Canada love. Yeah, okay. Not not, <laughs> not okay. What part of Canada? Oh, and Ian Let and Sharon know. are here. Hey guys, good to see ya. Awesome. Tonight we are gonna be talking about storage and organizing your RV. We did a video on that last Thursday. Yeah. You guys left some really amazing comments that we want to talk about and bring those to light as well as answer any questions that we might have on that topic. We're also gonna talk about Christmas. We're going to talk Ontario. about uh, quartzite and basically oh, quite a few we've others. got some other, we Thank actually you. have a sponsor for this week's video. So that's going to be exciting. We do. And yeah, before we, <laughs> before that's not lined up. <laughs> you didn't line it up? No. 
I didn't. You did it. Didn't we told get, them it we didn't would. get done. It'll be done on Thursday, get I guess. It. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we'll we'll give a plug then. Um, <laughs> I can't believe you didn't do it. Hey. Um, yes. Yeah, so thank you to our moderators, you guys. If you are a moderator of Living Light RV and you have a blue name with a blue wrench beside it, please go ahead and leave a link to your YouTube channel, your Facebook, your Instagram, your website, whatever it is. Go ahead and drop that link in there now. And if you are not one of the moderators, please go ahead and support those guys. They make this a safe place for us to hang out and uh, just get stuff done. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate your support and your love. And yeah. Thanks for moderators. Big thumbs up for the moderators. You showed me the, the link, but it never got downloaded or anything. I thought that's what you said when you wrote that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are so distracted. Alrighty. So Sorry let's get about that. Just Organizing. Some comments here. Organizing, comments here. Right? Yes, yes. And yes, Diary of a Family, we are copying your intro idea because it rocks. You guys are my see don't don't they say imitation is the greatest form of compliment. Sincerest form of flattery or something like there that. There you go, so. flattery, yes. There we go. Merry Christmas, Travis Beach, and from Pleasantville, Pennsylvania. I have an, an uncle who lives in Pennsylvania. Never been there. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Uh, and yeah. All right, let's go into, let's get into our questions and answers. So yes. one of the questions or comments that came up after our video last week about storage and organizing your RV was... <laughs> getting rid of all your stuff so of course yeah. downsizing always comes up it's a topic that we can never really get away from because when you live tiny you have to be getting rid of stuff all the time so on that note there's a shirt that i carry with me because it was given to me by one of my daughters and i only use it a few times a year but i'm wearing it today <laughs> did you catch that one there you go you need to fix it so we can actually see this and <laughs> no, this. no 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 all really? right no yeah, really. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, we're rusty. We haven't done a live stream for a long time. All right. And so one of the questions was, is it worth it to get rid of all this stuff and to live tiny? And of course, we're here to say it absolutely is worth it. We love full-time RVing. We love the freedom that it gives us to travel. Even with these COVID restrictions, we still yeah. have had enough freedom to go from Calgary to the lower mainland here, Vancouver, BC. Um, it's just allows us to give a, get a change of scenery. And of course, without COVID, it's an awesome lifestyle. So definitely it's worth it. So if you're thinking of, you know, getting rid of certain items, um, you just think, ah, this is the, this is the payoff, right? You pay this thing so you can get this thing. So definitely it's worth it. All right. Somebody, uh, oh, um, we had a few comments from Spikers B. So yep. one of her comments was, where do we store that huge vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, it that is, portion of the video. It's down the hall and tucked just in beside the bed and the wall. <laughs> That's where it is. And it's not really as big as the video made it look, but yeah, it is there. It It's kind of a beast. I just got it and yeah. we now have carpet in the rig, just like mats, like uh, throw mats, because we have a dog and she's yeah. old and we noticed that she was just slipping a little bit too much on the hard surface. So we wanted to protect yeah. her from slipping and hurting herself. So we thought, well, we'll get these throw rugs in here. So it's not as easy to sweep. So yeah. Getting and don't the forget, made sense. living in an RV, you're always dealing with debris that comes in from the outside or yeah. snow that comes in from the outside or rain that comes in from the outside. So you're constantly making sure you stay on top of getting that out, which is why having shag carpet in those class C's, I just, I don't get that. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that was a, an old thing, but... Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of comments here. We watched that movie a few days ago. So who knows what movie this is from? If you know it, put, type it in the chat. And Jim Deuce, you're wrong. I don't think he says that. <laughs> it's a wonderful life. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's, it's a reference to a movie. It's not an actual quote in the movie, but it's pretty close. So yes, and it's one of our very favorite movies. All right. The other question or the other comment that Spikers B said was uh, a suggestion to build shelves and drawers in your deep closet. So we showed a close yep. up of my clothing closet that had the hanging um, vertical hanging organizer stacking. Was thing. there a Mickey Mouse in there? Yeah, there was. Yeah. And my clothing hanging there. And then I pulled those things out in behind there. I just have some bins. But Spikers B, a fabulous idea to actually build shelves back there. So you're using that deep space in behind uh, at the very back of a deep closet. So I don't know if you guys have ever done that with your RVs, but I think it's a great idea. And that's something I'm going to look into for sure. And then drawers so you can actually pull it out and access all of your stuff. Hey, our internet connection yes. says Home Alone. everything is good. Uh, 
if you're if you see that it's not good, uh, type it in the chat so we can follow along and yeah, see if we New make Horizon it fix something. Yeah, New Horizons said her signal. I think is bad one of our yeah one of our subscribers watching today says their signal is bad, but I may, make want to make sure it's not our signal. Yeah, exactly for Excellent. sure. Um. <laughs> uh, there was one other thing I was gonna. Oh yes, um, I'm not the one that runs away. Uh, when the vacuum cleaner starts, no. but Daphne is our dog. She does not like the vacuum cleaner; it freaks her out. Oh, so. starting the generator, same thing. Yes, yeah. Oh, she does not like. Before the I start the generator, I say, "By the way, Daphne, I'm starting the generator." And I look at her, and she looks at me, and I start it, and she goes. <gasps> But yeah. every time I want to tell her it's going to start so that she starts to get that She just doesn't idea. like that loud noise. It, of it. Un it feels like it's under yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Mel and Eddie are here. Nice to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. John Chalker, yes, it has been a wonderful blessing for us to take yeah. care of Anna's dog. So she's she's a really good dog. And oh, yeah. it's just our blessing to to do that for her. So Our pleasure. Yeah, for sure. And Weekend RVing is already in Quartzsite. I think Mel and Eddie, you guys are already in Quartzsite as well. That's exciting. Mel and Eddie are at a campfire right now. Awesome. I well love it. That's fantastic. So, is retirement good for you? Yeah, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is. Um, alrighty, so let's get into yeah, their, their ears for sure. It bothers their ears. Another question from Spikers B. She said she labels her detachable cord. So that's a really good idea. And I was thinking I need to get out my labeler because I love using my labeler and just make a few little labels and say, you know, what is this for? What is that for? Especially when it comes to things yeah. like, um, like all the, the audio vid video stuff that we have. Yeah, There's keeping things organized. Everything. It's crazy. So yeah. yeah, go ahead and label your cords. That's another really good organizing tip. Uh, what other organizing tips? Oh, Sharon H. She said that they put a, I think they're van lifers actually yeah. in a camper van. She said they put a magnetic board that they got from, from Home Depot yeah. and they just attached it to the wall beside their stove. And then oh, they yes. just put those magnetic spice, um, they, they, spice jars on there. They put the jars, then they take the jar off, yeah. use it, and then they put it back on. So I thought cool. that was a really good space saving tip, especially if you don't have a lot of drawer or cupboard space, then you could at least put your spices there. Yep. And then free up your cupboards for other items. So good tip from Sharon H. And let's see another tip we've got here. Oh, yes. She also said that she puts their clothing in packing cubes. And I think, again, in van life, it, your organization is a little different than in your um, in an RV. So, yeah. yes, exactly. I know all of the people that run, um, you know, uh, Grand Design Solitudes and, and toy haulers. They're all like... How could Kent and Lisa possibly live in 28 feet no slides with all of their stuff? Takes effort. <laughs> Nick's picture says, and the camera cords are like having to try all the keys on a large key ring. Oh, it totally feels like that. I mean, we've got a, a basket up there and all the cords go in there. And I just said to Kent, as we were setting up for tonight's live stream, I said, how come? I mean, we use these this webcam and the microphone all the time because I do live Zoom sessions and stuff. And they're always at the bottom of the bin. I have no idea how that happens, but it is frustrating for sure. All right. We've got Lisa Desert says, Adventures in Arizona. And I'm like, oh, I know what Welcome that's Welcome here. Yes, exactly. So this is great, you guys. If you have any more questions about storage and organization and or, or living tiny, small space, how we do certain things yep. or tips for how you do things that work for your situation, please go ahead and put those in the chat because our live streams really depend heavily on what you guys have to say because we are never really that organized and we don't have a yeah. lot um, to say. Just saying lots and lots of times, Lisa will say, uh, this lawn chair, can we just put it on the roof of Bessie, please? And I say, no. That roof has a skin and any movement will cut through that skin. And I do not want to put something like a launcher up there that's going to be moving along. Yes. And so, yeah, you have to be careful on that. We do keep one thing up on the roof and that is one, uh, uh, the screen tent. Mm -hmm. That's in a bag. It's lashed yeah. on the, the, to the roof and we're good. And I keep my solar panels up there too for a very good reason. And it's a, the screen tent is a soft box yeah. kind of thing. So Diary of a Family says, hey, hey, we didn't say at Living Light we want to be in a smaller space. What does that mean? Ooh. You guys going to downsize from your big solitude? <laughs> Interesting. All righty. Yes, please. Mel and Eddie, thank you. You guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up for the video. If thank you're you. enjoying our goofy li live chat, we have some special extra goofy stuff for you guys later we because do. it's Tuesday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Um, alrighty, so we've got uh, Diary of Family says, I've been putting up command strip hooks up everywhere, walls, inside closets, up on bunks to help keep 
coats and bags off the floor from Carolyn. Yes, those command hooks, I'm telling you, they are a lifesaver. Yeah, we had one come down today. Yeah, well, I put one up that was only like for two pounds and can't put his big winter jacket on it and it fell down. So we need to upgrade that one. But they do work. They, they're they really fantastic. So Hey, uh, Jeff Lloyds is here. And uh, hey Jeff, nice he to keeps see you guys. all of his solar panels up on the roof also. Yes, he has lots of solar panels. Um, oh, yes. What about under Bessie storage? Garrett and Carolyn are asking about under Bessie. Under Bessie storage is uh, healthy. We have uh, one across that starts in both sides. You open it up and it actually joins. So we have pretty good options that way. Uh, we also have some uh, other storage with uh, where we keep all of our, our sewer line. And then we also, I keep a few things in with... Uh, uh, where the generator is not not much but a mm -hmm. couple things mm -hmm. can you guys hear the dog snoring <laughs> and then now we have a trunk yes the trunk of the car is a huge uh bonus storage space for us which is good because like we said in the video Lots. now we have a big big box of dog food that, that has trunk to go in there, so. is big and it's huge it feels like mary poppins uh, yeah. carpet bag that just or the tardis just, everything just fits in there so Yes, yes, yes. And um, what is what is Nick's picks? I like to pack stuff inside of other stuff like nesting dolls. Yeah, that's a good way to do it too, for sure. If you can stack things together, it just takes up a lot less space. And I love those Matryoshka dolls. Oh, yeah. They're one of my favorite sort of crafty things. Every time we go somewhere, I'm always looking for the perfect one. I've never bought one, but I'm always looking for the perfect one. Um, oh, and the kids are grown and gone. Yes, that's when you'll downsize, for sure. you got a few years got to it. wait for that. <laughs> Uh, Jim Deuce, we have a lot of storage in our trailer, enough that we want to remove one of the bunks. There are two bunks. I like the idea of using an expandable shower rod as a coat and clothing hanger. Yes. Yeah. That is it. That one, that rod in our bedroom really has saved a lot of heartache. <laughs> well, Jim was thinking about what to do with his, uh, trailer last time we saw him. Mm -hmm. He was wondering if he was going to take out the, uh, uh, the dinette or put in, you know, other things too. So instead of like a, like a table and two chairs so i wonder what if you if you accomplish that jim yeah exactly <laughs> storage panels solar panels don't work well in the storage bases stan yeah for sure they need to be on the roof exactly exactly <laughs> jim deuce he says nesting dolls annoy me they're so full of themselves yes they are <laughs> oh it's pretty funny Alrighty. So we have a couple more comments here um, from all the ventures. I think they're fairly new to our channel. And they said they put hooks around the bed frame for their shoes. And I have seen that okay. done before as well. So, you know, you've got like this island bed. They just, I guess, put hooks somehow along there. Maybe command hooks, maybe the big ones. Maybe but they just the hang backside. their shoes on there. Yep. So they're, again, up and off the off floor. The so floor. that was a really good tip. I thought I would around. share that in case that helps you guys. And then, um, yeah, Mel and Nettie and Don and Ellen, who are two of our Patreon members, they both kind of had the same tip, same idea in yeah. that, you know, whatever comes in, like if you're bringing something into your rig, you have to take something out of it. Yeah. Just be, otherwise they'll just pile up. And then Don and Ellen also said that purging and downsizing all the time. So no matter what, you know, no matter how long you're living in the RV, you're constantly kind of getting rid of things that you're not using or that is taking up space or whatever. So, and these guys, I mean, Mel and Eddie and Don and Ellen have been living full time in their RVs for several years. So they definitely know what they're talking about. So we want to give a shout out to our Patreon family members. Thank you guys for your support, for your input. For and, sure. You know, Mel and Eddie and Don and Ellen are just two of them. We have lots of other ones here as well. So I'm gonna touch if you on... want to be part of our Patreon Family, yeah. head on over to patreon.com slash livinglightrv and we have so much fun over there. Join behind the party. The, behind the scenes, yep. Zoom chats, yeah, that kind of stuff. That's so. the engine that runs Living Light RV. It is, yeah. Okay, yeah, Tech Corner, sure. hold on a second. Tech Corner. I mentioned uh, that you can repurpose hard drives. So what I did, this is my second way of doing it. Uh, the first way didn't work out very well because it was a component that wasn't designed well. Okay, I got to get into this box. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm holding too many things. There we go. That's how live streams go. It's real life. Okay, this, as you can see, is hard to get out of the box. There we go. This is a Wavelink. Let's see. There it is. And it is basically a way to use hard drives that come right out of a laptop or the regular size hard drive. And they just insert just like this. And you can attach them right to your computer through this cable here. And you can also duplicate hard drives too. 
So when you take this out of a, a laptop that is no longer any good, you can plug it in, you can hook it up to your, your computer that is good, and you can reformat this, which I did today. Uh, I went in through the DOS commands and I did a full reformat so that it doesn't have anything left over from the original. And so now I have 750 gigs that I can store a lot of stuff on without it taking up any space. Very simple to use. There you go. All right, tech corner's over. Tech corner's <laughs> over. <laughs> so uh, it looks like we got a couple comments here that I just want to read out loud. 77 Crepo says, didn't realize how much I took for granted water and conveniences of my 1200 square foot home until I watched RV living channels this last one to two years. Yes, exactly. Um, we, you just do. I mean, we just take for granted so many things in life that are that are just normal for us. And all of a sudden you see the way someone else, is, else lives and you just go, oh, I can totally appreciate hot water or a bathtub yeah. or a washing machine or whatever it is. Right? Except the power went off here yesterday. Yes, it did. And guess what? We had a snowstorm. The power went off throughout the entire neighborhood. Our outside light stayed on. We were, Lisa was doing a Zoom session. She kept doing her Zoom session. She well, just, I had to log back she in. She logged back yeah. in on her hotspot. She just kept going, da 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 And everybody else in the entire neighborhood is like, oh no, the power's off, quick, where's the flashlight? Da -da 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 -da. Exactly. And we're in a motorhome, so it's like, oh, we're fine. Yeah, so there, it's it's a good bug up vehicle. <laughs> it was interesting, anyways. <laughs> so John Chalker asks, what is the name of our toad? And her name is Ruby. She yes. is a 2012 red Hyundai Accent, and she was a gift to us from Melanetti, living free zip code list. We are eternally grateful to you, Melanetti, yes. for your generosity generosity and your just your oh, abundant kindness to us so yes Ruby is her name we have had a lot of trouble trying to get the import paperwork completed so we have Only good news on that front though big huge pause from the uh, Hyundai USA people of what to actually do to get it done yeah uh, and now we got the RIV report and we have an appointment booked yeah. for the end of the year yeah to get an inspection and done so first inspection takes half an hour and then we just do the things on the inspection that need to be done and then we go yeah. back and have it signed off so the car is coming along which almost is there great so great um melanie left a link for courtsite family reunion that is uh, there's a couple different places so you can go to livinglightrv.com slash q21 yeah. and um read all about it there we'll be talking about that more towards the end of today's video but yes. definitely if you're interested in quartzite and you have to leave before the end of the video check that web page out please excellent and all right all your teespring order your stuff did you just say that oh i didn't say teespring no okay there you go oh yeah there it is too so yes if you want to get t-shirts and stuff definitely order that um did you bring your t-shirt out here nope Oh, yeah, he got a, a, what is that called, a buff? T21 Gator. Q21 Gator, yes. There you go. So, yeah, definitely check that out as well. And um, Desert Adventures in Arizona, we have jumped into RV during power outage. It's very satisfying. I love it. So even if you're at home and the power goes out, you're like, let's go hang out in the camper. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Awesome, awesome. Um, I know F&T, you're right. They're super, super nice that they would gift us a car for sure alrighty so i think oh um oh here's the thing that kent forgot to give you guys and i can't believe he forgot to do this i did i did it, it's my fault because i didn't remind him so whatever there you go we have friends of ours and friends of yours that have just started an rv repair business it is yes. garrett from diary of a family so you guys yeah. can contact garrett if you need any work done on your rv they are on their way to quartzsite here pretty quick i think right after christmas they're heading yeah. over there he's just so, gone through the whole course yeah he's certified like he's, not just he's like fully hey, certified just some random dude fixing your rake he's he got certified. an entire program and um um management system behind him yeah so Garrett, if you want to go ahead and put your contact info for that, if anybody wants to phone you or email you and uh, book an appointment while you're in Quartzsite to get anything fixed on your rig and you know, he's going to be awesome at yeah. it. So go ahead and contact Garrett for that. He did a whole awesome little like video telling you're you gonna what see. he's going to do. And we will put that up on our Thursday's video. So watch for that on Thursday. We apologize that we didn't get it on, ready to go for today's live stream. We were planning on it. It just didn't happen because that's just real life. That's what yeah. happens. So, but yeah, Yes, definitely uh, contact Garrett if you need any work done on your RV because he is the man to go. That's go right. For that, See, he's the guy. And, that... Or if you have a YouTube channel, you can go to RV Media Creators. <laughs> he's gonna Garrett be... has skills. Man. He'll be the guy that goes under the rig to make sure the slide comes back in. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He, or fix the stairs, or the AC, or the fridge, or you, there you go. 
all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. So certifiable. <laughs> Jim Deuce, of course Canadians can get across the line by January. But if you fly, you have to fly. You got to fly down. So, yes, should we talk about quartzite for a minute? I think people want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do it. So, you should go get our t-shirt. No. It's on if that you guys side haven't of you. seen the t-shirts, go check out the Teespring store. Nettie put the link up there a few minutes ago, minutes ago so check that out. Um, we are really hoping to get to Quartzsite, but there's no guarantee that we'll actually make it. The borders are closed. We can't drive our, our rig across. It is quite expensive for us to do. I know a lot of people have transported their rigs over and yep. then they fly down. Um, in order for us to do that, it would be super expensive. And there are just a, a lot of other reasons why it wouldn't work. So guys, I don't know. We're going to do our best, but we can't make any promises that we'll actually be there. Our, we'll be there in spirit. We will definitely support you guys as much as we can from here as far as, you know, tech stuff or, you know, like we have Wi-Fi, you guys don't. So yeah, <laughs> if you need anything to be posted to a website or let people know of things, we can do that. But um, I don't know. Our we're hearts trying, are there. We're trying we're to still figure trying. it out. We haven't given There's up There's still hope, some but... open opportunities that we're looking at maybe exercising, something like that. We'll yeah. keep you in the loop Yeah. Uh, if you're on Patreon. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we are going to do what we can. Uh, we're going to see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yes, F and T people are having their RVs either towed or, or flat deck down, um, and then fly down, which is what we really, we've looked at the cost. we really wanted to do that, but we are on a limited income right now. And well, forever, we're always on a limited yeah. income. We are just a low budget people. So it's just out of our price range to actually make that happen. So we're sad to about spend, that. But... To spend the money would be fine. And then we don't have the money to go so, yeah, yeah. because we've already spent it. Yeah, exactly. So Unfortunately, that won't work. And yeah, we will definitely be missing everybody who's there. So, but like I said, don't give up hope. We are still no. like hanging on to little threads of hope that maybe something will come. We haven't said no. Will happen. So for good reason. We shall see. But yeah, we can't promise that we'll be there. So, but you guys who are going, and even if some of you who are not going, but you want to support that group of awesome, cool kids, yep. you can go and donate to our firewood fund for Quartzsite 21. Because what is a family reunion without a perpetual fire pit? That's right. So, you got to have at least one cord delivered. Yes. Or more. Yeah. At least one so cord of wood uh, to be delivered to sort of the main site area. And then people can just grab wood and throw it on the fire, which is really a great way to do it. Yeah. But we, that does cost money. So if you want to just head over to livingthatrv.com slash Q21, there's a link there for our firewood fund. Yep. You can just pitch in whatever, five bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever works for you. And uh, our, our, all that money is going to firewood. So yeah, we're, I think we're at... I don't even know what the numbers are right now, but we need at least a couple hundred dollars more in yeah. order to pay for a cord of wood for that cord site. Make and it, that make it fully happen. The yeah. dates for that is January 16th to the 24th. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys are already in cord site and some people will stay even longer than that, but that sort of 16 to 24 is, is what we are calling family reunion Q21 hashtag the, uh, cool RV kids. And you know, to be a cool RV kid, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to be on Instagram. No. You don't have to be a content creator. You just have to love the RV lifestyle and you don't have to be a full timer. No. It can just, you, if you're a weekend warrior, just be part you, of the group. If you're in a van, if you're in your minivan, if you're in a tent, just come on out and hang out with people. You don't even have to camp. If you live in Phoenix, drive on out for the day or for the evening and, yep. and visit around the campfire. And, and that's, that makes you an RV cool kid. And so, nobody gets denied of being an RV cool kid. Yeah. No, a nobody. cool RV kid. It's a hashtag. You yeah. have to say it right. <laughs> hashtag okay. cool RV kid. Anyway, so that's I our, that was our the plug for I thought that was the number sign. Yeah, it's a number sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hashtag. Got it. Exactly. So thank you, Mel and Eddie, for putting up all those links. We totally appreciate you guys doing that. That's awesome. And um, yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Um, we got the tech corner taken care of. Let's see. Um, should we... Okay. Should we talk about this? Summer quartzite meetup. Oh, that would be really hot. Can you even imagine? We mm. Everybody would cook to death. Garrett's like, yeah, lots of money fixing air, air conditioners. ACs <laughs> need to work. What about this? Should we do this? Exactly. Um, yeah, we did want to give a quick shout out to our friends, tired, retired old timers. We yep. met them in Drumheller this Daphne. It's okay. She's having a crazy bad dream over there. Um, and we just got a comment from them that he is going in for heart surgery. He had a between heart, Christmas heart episode. And New Year's. Yeah. And so he's going in for medical, uh, 
surgery. Yeah. So our prayers go out to Jim and Sandra. If you guys yeah. think of them, um, just send up a prayer and, and thoughts for them as they go through that struggle of that time. So, and I know that there's a lot of people who go through the hard, um, hard health challenges or hard, like sad memories at Christmas time. So just make sure that even as we're in these, these, strange times of social distancing and such yeah. that you reach out to one another you know do zoom calls send a you know card in the mail we all need to be lifted up at this time and of year. encourage each other yeah so speaking of which speaking of which well I we got have a christmas cheer christmas cheer video for you guys but don't go away because it's tuesday and you know what that means Hey, Merry Christmas, eh? Hey, how's it going from uh, the Great White North, eh? The Great White North. We got special treats for these guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can you? Cheers to the eggnog. Eggnog. Eggnog's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's good. That's hey. Fantastic. That's awesome. You know awesome. what? With eggnog, we should probably sing a song. We probably should, but you know. In, in true What's wrong, light, Hoser? In true living light, Hoser she's fashion. She's being a Hoser. She's saying lost, she doesn't. She doesn't know what to play. I lost my um my music. I had it. Oh. Okay. 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 I think there we're you good. go. We're I good? think she's got it. 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 This isn't technical difficulties. This is some other difficulties. Hey, dude, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't mock me out, Hoser, because you don't know how to play the ukulele. Hey. You. You go ahead. Actually, I don't know how to play the ukulele either. So this should be interesting. <laughs> All right, hosers, you got to sing along with us, but pay attention to the words because we changed them, eh? Yeah, because <laughs> that's what you do when you're, you know, stuck in a RV. Okay, this is RV for you. Uh, uh, on, oh, what, what, okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a buddy heater. Yeah, keep me warm. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two Christmas stockings and a buddy heater. That's how it goes. Yeah. On the third day, ready? Third. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three winter hats, two Christmas stockings, and a buddy heater. Yeah. You got. You got the idea. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four hot chocolates, three winter hats, two Christmas stockings, and a buddy heater. Keep me warm. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five propane bottles. Full. Four hot chocolates, three winter hats, two Christmas stockings, and a buddy heater. On the on sixth the day, sixth, ready? Yeah. On, on the, the sixth th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six heavy blankets, five bottles of propane, four hot chocolates. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> four hot, hot chocolates, chocolates, three winter hats, Two Christmas stockings and a buddy heater. Because it keeps me warm. 
even when the power's out. Are we on seven? Yeah. This is the last one, guys. Ready? Oh, we have. We can go all the way to twelve if you want. On the <laughs> seventh <laughs> I day. We were doing seven. <laughs> on the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five, seven tanks of gas, six heavy blankets, five bottles of propane. Propane. Four hot chocolates, three winter hats, in case you get a hole in one, two Christmas stockings, and a buddy heater. There you go. Are we done? Should we do we eight? Going? Okay, we'll okay. go all the way to 12. Oh my gosh, here we go, guys. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 leveling blocks, 11 RV antifreezes, 10 Christmas ornaments, 9 strings of lights, 8 electric heaters. <laughs> Seven tanks of gas, six heavy blankets, five propane bottles, or is it propane? Four hot chocolates, three winter toques, two Christmas stockings, and a buddy heater under that tree. There you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas hey. Day. Happy hey, New Year. Hey, Happy New Year's. Cheers. You guys are awesome. Love you all, you hosers. Let's see if we can put something up for Thursday like we always do. Buddy heaters. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed that little Took Tuesday Christmas special. <laughs> I have missed all the comments because I was too busy trying to goof around on that ukulele, but I'm sure we'll go back and read them later. And I hope you guys had fun hanging out with us tonight. You ready to call it quits? To call it quits, I'm going to let that cheer video go in one more time. Yeah, sounds and good. You don't have to stay and watch it. You've already seen it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. And we will see you on Thursday. We've got a fun Christmas special coming up on Thursday. Just a special Christmas message. So we'll see you guys then. My name's Lisa. My name's Kent. We're living light RV. We're grabbing life by the tail. Hope you guys are too. Have a great night. Love you. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.